top of my dress to be this color. I love this color, this bright yellow. It's wonderful for the spring and summer. So I've already folded this piece two times. I folded it uh, in half from here to here and then again. Then I will take my t-shirt pattern and fold it in half this way. Then I'm going to fold it in half again in the opposite direction. I'm going to tuck this in only because this is where the sleeves will go. So I'm going to tuck this in. Lay it flat on your fabric. Now if you're good with your cutting, just cut, leave about an inch for seam allowance and cut all around your t-shirt. If you're not that good, then don't be afraid to use the pins. Take a couple of pins and pin them to the shirt and fabric just to sort of hold it in place. And cut around, once again, leaving about an inch for seam allowance. Okay, now what you want to do is, here's your two cut pieces, what you want to do is you're going to make like a long triangle from where the arm ends to the bottom. And, and the reason I'm doing this is because I want the top part to fit almost like a bra. I just wanted to give it a little form. So I'm going to cut here. And I'm also going to cut here. This way. You could fold it and then that way it's just one cut and both sides will be the same. Once you do that, what I need you to do is just pin all around your outfit. Don't be afraid to pin only because it'll keep your fabric in place when you're at the machine. So pin all the way because now we're going to sew this piece. You're going to sew from here to here, from here to here, from here to here, and also on this end. So go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, so like I said before, today I'm working with a really stretchy fabric. And you want to make sure that you have the proper stitch. So I've turned my machine on. And over here where the screen is, I'm going to go to this button. And I'm going to be using number three. Which I love for st stretchy fabric because it's this stitch right here. It's a strong stitch and it will let um, your fabric stretch even after you have finished sewing. So this is um, the stitch that we'll be using for this project. Um, like I said before, this is the Brother CS6000i, which is my favorite machine. And we are working with stretchy fabric. And this is what the top part of your dress looks like so far. Okay, so I've already chosen um, my other fabric. This is going to be the skirt part of my dress. Um, that was the hardest part for me was deciding which fabric because I have a lot of pieces and couldn't decide what color. But this color, it's, it's got its little brights in there so I think it'll match really cute with the yellow. So I've, I haven't um, really cut anything um, too spectacular. It's just plain, a plain piece of fabric plain piece because what I'm going to do with this piece is I'm going to gather all the edges. I'm going to gather from here all the way to the other end because I want a little gather look um, at the top of my skirt. I don't want it to be too straight my dress. You know if that's what you like then that's fine. Then you need a smaller piece of fabric. 
but I want mine to be gathered around the top part where the two colors meet. So I'm going to the machine now and I'm going to be using my gather foot and I'm going to be doing that from one end of the top all the way to the other end. Oops. Okay, so now I've done my little gathers that I wanted to do on the top part of my skirt. This is what it's looking like. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this big piece. I'm going to put the right sides together this way. And I'm going to sew from this end to the bottom to make it uh, like a skirt. I'm going to sew this area from one end to the other so that when you're done it will look, it should look like this, like an inside out skirt. Okay so now you have your two pieces. You have your skirt with the little gather on the top and you have your little top, um, the yellow piece. Now what we're going to work on is getting these two pieces together. So as you noticed, I have both of them uh, with the wrong side out. And what you're going to do is, on this top piece, I gave myself extra room to try and make it look a little bit more professional. So I'm going to fold right here, about an inch. And then I'm going to take this piece and join it together with the yellow. Now the easiest way to do this is to start with your two corners. Um, also, I've lined up my seam, the back seam, so that it's in the middle prior to attaching both pieces. You could have it on the side, on the front, but I prefer in the back. So now what you're going to do is, you're going to join these two corners, like this, and you're going to pin it. Now make sure that you pin a little below where the thread is shown, because you don't want to finish and then have that thread showing. So you're going to join it there. And you're going to join at this corner. This way. And you could join, um, you could do the same to all around. The more pins you put in, the safer it is that your fabric will stay in place. If you don't want your fabric moving all over the place when you're sewing it, it's just easier to keep it all together. So put as many pins as you like all around. Once you do that, you're going to go to the machine and you're going to use your stretch stitch number three on the Brothers 6000 CSI machine and you're going to sew all around so that it, it would it should look this way when you're sewing you're going to sew all around all around all around keeping top part bottom part together and once again you have the wrong side showing on both on the top and the bottom so do that and we'll be right back okay so here is what your dress should look like so far um, basically what you need to do now is figure out how deep you want your neck I'm probably gonna go a little lower if you don't have a dress form please invest in one because it just makes your project so much more easier to do than to have to keep trying things on yourself this is a dress I paid ninety seven dollars for it I believe it was I purchased it from Amazon and I love it okay so over here like I said I'm gonna go maybe a little lower just to be a little sexier give it a little cleavage 
and then in the back I'm going to go low also because I like to show back I just think it makes your outfit look so much cuter um, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the, this area two times if you have a serger wonderful thing I don't have one yet but I will definitely try and invest in one of those you're going to fold this area twice and you're going to sew around the neck area you're also going to sew around your arm area um, you could go either way you could leave it very short sleeve you could add a sleeve whatever makes you more comfortable I was actually thinking of taking a piece of this fabric and maybe making a little design to put around the neck and in the back so at this point it's really up to you how you want to decorate it it's up to you if you want it to be extra long maxi or if you want to cut it and at this point you measure how tall you are and cut um, leaving about an inch of seam allowance so that when you hem your outfit it looks professional and that's about it please if you like the channel please subscribe subscribe hit that like button and thank you for watching and keep coming back so here are different ideas on how to wear the dress that you just made so many different ways to wear it wear with a little jacket or you could throw a belt on it and you're ready to go so please like my channel subscribe and thanks for watching have a great day